This place has mushrooms coming out. It's everything. It's like a theme park of mushroom hunting. The mushrooms are as beautiful as a wildflower and more exciting to find because, you know, you might be the first person in the last 35 years that ever saw that there. A lot of them I know from books, and they're arriving in the flesh on those tables in multiples. At the 2017 Nama Northwoods Foray up here in northern Wisconsin, we've had been having a, a complete blast. Nama represents the largest group of collectors, amateur mycologists, professional mycologists and people just interested in general in mushroom forming fungi. It's really exciting at a NAMA event because it is such a blending of people with such varied interests and such varied skill levels. Some are college professors, some are self-taught. Lots of people working at different universities or herbarium that I get to, to meet and actually talk to. I've read their books, I've read their papers. So NAMA is a great place to interact with people and learn from them. I was blown away by the different uh, if you want mushroom cultures that I discovered at NAMA. It's kind of a big interconnected web like mycelium. There are discussions about so many issues. So it's not just toxicology and it is not just taxonomy and it is not just cooking with wild mushrooms. Everything comes together. And I've always wanted to have some kind of like little recording system that recorded all the conversations at Nama Foray and wrote them up because there's so much information exchanged. When uh, an expert in a group of mushrooms is really not sure what they're looking at because they're seeing it for the first or second time, that's when things get really exciting. I think it's important to study fungi because they're everywhere and they're holding everything together. Then you start seeing the connections of mushrooms and green plants and mushrooms and insects and all the interactions, uh, ecological interactions. And a lot of understanding of environmental stability comes from gaps in our knowledge and a huge gap can be the fungi, because fungi are incredibly diverse and all of that diversity represents different individual roles that fungi can have and play in terms of stabilizing the environment and contributing to the health of ecosystems. There's a whole resurgence of folks interested in getting out into the woods now, into the forest. What is nature? What's our role here on the planet? And what role does fungi play? Once people start to learn about mushrooms, they realize that there's, it's sort of the biological frontier. We think that probably we've described about five or six percent of the total fungal diversity on Earth. So that's what keeps me going. I can come here and I can see things I've never seen before at a foray like this. People come here to listen to lectures, go to workshops on cultivating, and learn about identification of mushrooms, but we know the real reason they're here. It's to pick and eat wild mushrooms. The chanterelle soup was my favorite. Make the pickles in the woods, yeah. ripple up and I like the mataki tea. Mycology brings people together out of the fear of getting poisoned, basically. That's the, that's the real truth of the matter. Mycology also brings people together because we share common knowledge. If you're interested in mycology, there's no better way to, to learn and to be inspired than to come to a foray like the Nama foray. The best way to learn a mushroom is to see it in person, to have someone at a foray say, well, that's what it is, and it looks like this, and you have the other mushroom there to put the two together, and so you know this is edible, this is poisonous. And while they look a little bit alike, seeing them together with an expert to talk about them is a really a good way to learn them. But not before you have 200, 300 people, so you get exposed to lots of different aspects of how people are interested and interact with mushrooms and weird fungi that you never knew about and they know how to find them. Folks who are interested in fungi should join a local club. NAMA has 80 affiliated clubs and learn from the local club and then extend their knowledge by joining NAMA. Joining a mushroom club was a great way to start, but coming to NAMA, you have amazing individuals that are doing a lot in the world of fungi. One of the beauties of NAMA is that it's in a different place every year. You know, it's always nice to see some different mushrooms that you've never, never seen. I think mushroom people mostly just want to be in the woods. I do. When you go in the woods, you feel extremely peaceful all of a sudden. I would love to come back to NAMA um, year after year. It's really a very synergistic kind of gathering where there's a lot of people who know a lot of things about a lot of different things. And so we can all learn from each other and find out what's here and, and what fungi do and what they are and what the different kinds of species are. Just as long as I can spread my spores, that's great. <laughs>